What happens when a gamer becomes a fairly important scientist and makes a new discovery? Things like pikachu happen. Johnny. <laughs> First described in 2008 in Japan by Shigeru Sato, he decided to name this high-energy protein after Pikachu, the beloved mascot of Pokémon. Shigeru named it pikachu because both Pikachu and this new protein have lightning-fast moves and stunning electric effects. Also, it was discovered in a mouse, though it was later confirmed to also exist in humans. Pikachurin is a distroglycin interlacing protein that has an essential role in the precise interactions between the photoreceptor ribbon synapse and the bipolar dendrites. And if I were to explain that to someone without a supreme interest in biology, I would tell them this. As your eyes take in light, that light hits your photoreceptors. That light signal then travels to your brain, which processes it. And that is how we see. Pikachurin helps convert that light into a sort of electrical energy, which the brain can then understand. And that explanation is so much simpler. Pikachurin isn't required to see, nor is it the only protein that does this job, but it does play a big part of helping it. So thank you, Pikachu. Seeing is pretty good. But it's not the only biological discovery named after a Pokémon. There is also the ZBTB7 gene catchy name, but it was originally named Pokemon. Pokemon! The Pokemon gene. It was named this because Pokemon happened to work as an acronym for its scientific name, that being P-O-K, Earthroid, Myloid, Ontogenic Factor. Pok, E, M, On. But why the switch to Zebus here? I'm sure you can guess. Nintendo and the Pokemon Company threatened legal action unless they changed the name. It wouldn't be too bad to name a gene after a Pokemon, after all, they're fine with pikachu -rin. It's just that, in this case, this is the gene most responsible for cancer. I doubt any company wants to be associated with that. And now you know a bit about biology. Thanks, video games. But these still aren't the only bits in our bodies named after video game characters. Click here to watch my video on Sonic Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and keep filling up that noggin.